ladies and gentlemen. I'm Dr. Terry Winfrey, the president of Prairie State College, and I'd like to hereby convene the 56th annual commencement of Prairie State College. <laughs> Please join Lance Joseph, one of our very talented students, <laughs> and sing on this very special day our national anthem. Please remain standing following the national anthem as Kyle Brodnick, our student trustee, delivers the invocation. Such a wonderful day. I would like to personally congratulate each and every one of you on your accomplishment, and I wish you the best of luck in all your future endeavors. Uh, I'd like to share this verse from Ralph Waldo Emerson as our invocation. To laugh often and much, to win the respect of intelligent people and the affection of children, to earn the appreciation of honest critics and endure the betrayal of false friends, to appreciate beauty to find the best in others, to leave the world a bit better, whether by a healthy child, a garden patch, or a redeemed social condition, to know even one life has breathed easier because you have lived. This is to have succeeded. To this verse, let us all say amen. amen. Thank you. Please be seated. It's a little tight, huh? Move mine over here. I am pleased now to introduce the members of our platform party. Several participants have other featured parts in the program, and a more lengthy introduction will be given at that time. First, I want to introduce four very special representatives of our faculty who served as marshals today. Associate Professor and Coordinator and Department Chair of Chemistry and Chair of Natural Sciences, Dr. Christine Brooms is our Grand Marshal. Each year, Prairie State College nominates one of our faculty members for the Illinois Community College Trustees Associate Association Faculty of the Year Award. Dr. Brooms was this year's nominee. And also for the first time in our college's history, our nominee, Dr. Brooms, was selected as a co-recipient of the 2015 Outstanding Full-Time Faculty for the State of Illinois. 
serving as an honorary Grand Marshals are adjunct professor and coordinator of our HVAC program, Chad Florestra, Fiestra. He is our nominee for the Illinois Community College Trustee Part-Time Faculty of the Year Award. Professor, coordinator, department chair, and interim director of nursing, Kathy Malik, who is retiring after 25 years of service. And Donna Song, professor of business, who is retiring after 25 years of service. In addition to these outstanding faculty members, a longtime member of our administration is retiring after 17 years of service, Dr. Susan Solberg, Dean of Liberal Arts. These are outstanding individuals whose dedication to teaching and learning has made a difference to countless number of students and citizens throughout our district. Let us acknowledge their service and contributions. Now I'm delighted to present the executive officers of Prairie State College who along with me and the Board of Trustees provide administrative leadership. Dr. Marie Hansel, Vice President of Academic Affairs and Dean of Faculty. Dr. Thomas Sabin, Vice President of Finance and Administration. Craig Schmidt, Vice President of Community and Economic Development. And Dr. Gregory Thomas, Vice President of Student Affairs. Next are the academic deans. Elijah Wilson, Interim Dean of Liberal Arts. Dr. Deborah Prendergast, Dean of Business, Mathematics, and Science. And Patty Zuccarello, Dean of Health and Industrial Technology. <laughs> Moving to the front row is one of today's graduates, Deron Johnson. Mr. Johnson has served as a student trustee for the past year and has been, as you can tell by the applause, extremely active on campus. He is a recipient of the President's Leadership Award. Next. Next are Emmanuel Lopez, Celeste Garcia, and Lofty LJ. These graduate students have been also extremely active on campus and are also receiving the President's Leadership Award today. The next two students are Prairie State College alumna Sheila Parada and graduating student Zachary Heimer. These two students are members of the Phi Theta Kappa All-Illinois team. Next to Sheila is Andy Schott, Associate Professor of Political Science, Social Sciences Department Chair, and President of the Faculty Federation. Seated next to Professor Schott is today's commencement speaker, Illinois State Senator Toy Hutchinson. <laughs> Finally, I'd like to introduce the members of our Board of Trustees. We're very pleased to have all of them here today. Ms. Jacqueline Agee, Attorney at Law, Board Chair and President of Chicago Heights, Resident of Chicago Heights. Mr. Mark Wiley, Vice Chair and Resident of Chicago Heights. Dr. Ronnie White, one of our newly elected board members and board secretary. He is a resident of Chicago Heights. Ms. Peck Donahue, board member and resident of Park Forest. Ms. Renetta Hill Corley, board member and resident of Olympia Fields. Mr. Wendell Mosby, board member and resident of Chicago Heights. Ms. Joelle Mulhern, another newly elected board member and resident of Chicago Heights. And Mr. Kyle Brodnick, our newly elected student trustee who provided the invocation. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please acknowledge all of our platform guests. <laughs> Welcome to Prairie State College's 56th annual commencement. I want to welcome everyone who's come today to celebrate this important occasion, including the Prairie State College Board of Trustees, the parents, the families, the friends, and the distinguished guests of the graduates. Today is a celebration of the 2015 graduates and all that they have achieved. This year, there has been a lot of national attention on community colleges. It seems that everyone is seeing the economic value of starting your college career at a community college. I started mine at the community college. In fact, I started mine right here at Prairie State College. 
The degree or certificate you have earned is one of the best investments that you can make in your new credential will increase your earnings potential. Your investment in your education will yield a long-term payoff, not only in earnings. The skills you have learned during your time at Prairie State College will help you throughout your life. For the past month, the, the campus community has participated in First Lady Michelle Obama's Reach Higher initiative, inspiring people to think about the next steps in their education. I want to inspire all of you to reach higher for your next step. Please continue to look at and dream about what can be done with your education. In line with that idea of reaching higher, I want to recognize some students who are definitely reaching higher. Please take a moment to read in the program about the students that we are honoring today who I just introduced over here. Congratulations to them on their outstanding achievements. It's always difficult for us to decide which students will receive those awards and get to sit on stage. I wish we could recognize all of our students. We have so many leaders. Let me take a moment to acknowledge the contributions of some students who are also graduating today. When I say your name, please stand. Samantha Adindu was recognized by several of her professors. She is in the dual degree program with GSU and has received GSU Honors Scholarship for full tuition. Samantha, <laughs> Samantha is also part of the Phi Theta Kappa, Alpha Beta Gamma, and the new ed news editor for the Student Review newspaper. In addition, she is a caring parent. We wish her the best as she continues to reach higher at Governor State next fall. In addition to Samantha, eight other Prairie State College students received the dual degree honors or the GSU Promise Scholarship. Those students are Kevin Adams, Linda Coleman, Janelle Cooper, Renee Donlin, Sean Horan, Diamond Robinson, Larissa Swanson, and Monique O'Canis. Monique was also named the Social Sciences Student of the Year by her professors. Congratulations. <laughs> Tanaya Scott is another student recognized by her professors. Tanaya is described as a dedicated student. Her professors from her learning community course said they could see the spark in Tanaya's eyes as she was finding the love for the material in the class. She is upbeat, positive, and enthusiastic and that is contagious to everyone around her. She plans on reaching higher by obtaining her bachelor's degree at Governor State University and majoring in industrial organizational psychology and then attending Purdue University for a master's PhD program in IO psychology or perhaps the law school at Indiana University, Robert H. McKinney School of Law. Reach higher, Tanaya. And I have to give a shout out to our nationally recognized tennis team and our national speech champions. I want to thank speech team member Colin Gallagher who gave me one of my newest lines I get to use. He said, I came to PSC and the speech team thinking I would get a piece of the pie. Instead, I got the whole pie. <laughs> I like that one. <laughs> yeah. It is not only our students who are reaching higher, our Prairie State College employees are also continuing to reach higher in their educational career, and I want to take a minute to recognize some of them. Jennifer McCorkle, the assist Executive Assistant for Student Affairs, is receiving her bachelor's degree in communications at Governor State University later today. Justin Pariso, yeah, go ahead and clap for her. <laughs> Justin Pariso, Assistant Professor of History received his PhD from William and Mary. Patty Eberhardt, Professor of Nursing, received her doctorate in nursing practice from Governor State University. Maureen Gillio, Associate Professor of Nursing, received her doctorate in nursing practice from Governor State University. And Tina Parks, Associate Professor of Nursing, received her doctorate in nursing practice from Purdue University. Nine Prairie State College faculty members were recently honored with the John and Sue Ann Rausch Excellence Award presented by the League for Innovation of Community Colleges. The award recognizes long tradition of excellence in community college teaching and leadership, celebrating outstanding contributions and leadership, 
Honored were associate or are associate professor of nursing Marcia Boltus, assistant professor of nursing Angela Simpson, percent, professor of dental hygiene Dolores Ickes, professor of developmental writing and English Jason Evans, assistant professor of psychology Cynthia Cornejo, assistant professor of English Megan Hughes. Professor of Earth Science, Leanne Burrow. Assistant Professor of Chemistry, Medhat Shabbat. And Professor of Mathematics, Susan Eshi. We also have a few employees who will be receiving their Prairie State uh, College diplomas this morning. Graduates, I would like to encourage all of you to continue reaching higher, like the faculty and staff that I just mentioned. Your education has just begun. I also want you, students, to take a moment to thank all the people who helped you get here today. The professors who worked with you throughout your time here at Prairie State College, your family, your friends who supported you while you were achieving your educational goals. I would like all the graduates to please stand and give a round of applause and appreciation to those who supported you in your journey that brought you here today. Thank you. Congratulations to all the graduates. You have reached this day through time, talent, and persistence. Education is a lifelong process and one that offers so much value. I hope the time you spent at Prairie State College will stay with you. Please keep in touch with us. We love hearing from you and loving hearing, love hearing your successful stories. I believe in each one of you. I hope you achieve your goals. Whatever they may be, just remember Prairie State College, start near, go far. Thank you. Good morning. On behalf of the Board of Trustees, I am delighted to welcome you to Prairie State College's 56th Commencement Ceremony. I am Jacqueline Agee, Chair of the Board of Trustees. This is a wonderful moment of celebration for everyone here today. But most of all, it is a time of celebration for you, the graduates. Through your hard work and determination, you have earned this day, this day of recognition and celebration. Congratulations. I would like to take a moment to congratulate our graduating veterans. Since today is Armed Forces Day, I would like to recognize all of the veterans who are with us here today. Would all of our graduating veterans and all of their veterans please stand so that we may thank you for your service. Good morning. Um, I am Andy Schott, Associate Professor of Political Science and President, thank you, <laughs> and President of the Prairie State College Faculty Federation of Teachers, Local 3816. So before I go too far, I have to tell you what my five-year-old said. And if, when you get a five-year-old, especially at my age, everything, all your ideas and inspiration comes from me from him. Uh, he, I said I was going to a graduation. He said, what's a graduation? I said, well, people have accomplished things, blah, blah. He says, you mean celebration? And I said, yeah, yeah, it is a celebration. So he started saying, celebration. <laughs> come on, come on. So, so that's my mindset today, if you will. Um, it is an honor and a pleasure to be here. Uh, thank you, Dr. Winfrey, uh, uh, for the chance to speak. Um, 22 or 23 years ago, I graduated from Carl Sandburg Community College, and if you allow, I, if you allow, I understand 
what some of you may be thinking. I remember being happy, relieved, and afraid, right? Passed English 101, right? That's, that's a big thing. Got my math credit out of the way. That's a huge thing, right? I got all those little bumps out of the road. Of course, I probably hit those bumps two or three times before I actually got over them. But I, can't, I got over them. Now, I was a community college graduate, graduate. I feared that I was at a disadvantage. I doubted my education. I doubted my ability. I doubted that I could achieve anything. But guess what? I was dead wrong. The education that I received from Carl Sandburg Community College created a strong educational foundation, a foundation that continues to support my education and career. Of course, as one of my colleagues put it, whether you graduate from an Ivy League school or a community college, education always comes down to the same basic idea. What you put into it is what you get out of it. Now, in other words, effort is everything. Your graduation evidences that effort, and it evidences your effort, and it evidences that effort, if you will, is a trait you possess. Effort brought you to graduation. But the time to stop is not now. Keep up the effort. Use the education you received as a springboard to bigger and better things. Reach higher. Let me ask the graduates directly, right? School's back in session, and those of you who've had me, don't make me call on you. <laughs> Can you achieve? Yes. You know that doesn't work, right? Can you achieve? Yes. Can you do better? Yes. Can you reach and exceed your goals? We, the faculty, and the entire PSC community don't doubt you for a minute. Your education is rock solid. And upon this foundation, all things are possible. How do I know? Because no one welds like a Prairie State welder. You need electrical work? You better find a PSC graduate if you want it done right. Engine light on? You better get a Prairie State Auto Tech. Do you need health professionals, nurse, dental hygienist, surgical tech, CNA? You better hope they're pioneers. <laughs> if you need emergency services, accountants, computer help, child care, fitness, help with manufacturing, with information tech, music or photography, if you want it, if you want it done right, you better ask for and get a pioneer. And to those of you who are going, to, going on to complete your four-year degree, when you turn in that first essay, that first quiz, and you get that back, you get that A back, and your new friends look at you and wonder, you can say, what? I went to PSC. I'm a pioneer. <laughs> and when they say, you mean Harvard on Halstead? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You look them straight in the eye and you say, don't you throw that shade on me. Harvard ain't got nothing on PSC. Now, you know as I do, your higher education foundation was not formed without assistance. So let me ask you to recognize those who have dedicated their career to ensuring that graduating students possess the skills necessary to be successful. Would the faculty please rise? Would the staff please rise? And the administration please rise?
And I would ask that you recognize these outstanding individuals who have made your graduation your mission. Your mission. Thank you. Now graduates, I still got about 20 minutes, so everybody hold on, right? You paid for it, you get it, right? The faculty wants you to hold your head high. We know you're ready. PSC knows you're ready. Fix on that next challenge. Strike at it with full confidence in your abilities. And when you achieve, come back and tell us. We won't be surprised. Go forth and prosper. Congratulations. Roll, pioneers, roll. <laughs>
a hard year and I struggled. I mean, I really struggled. In the first month that I was there, my daughter was bitten by a pit bull in the face, 18 stitches, cheek to lip. By the time October rolled around, my brother-in-law was shot in the back in a failed robbery attempt. In December, the campus was shut down because there was a bomb threat and some discouraging words written in bathroom stalls to all the African-American students. And then in February of that year, the NIU shooting happened and I was sitting in the law library. That was my first year of law school after I hadn't been a student for more than 15 years, and I had three kids, and not two nickels to rub together, and some more student loans, and I was scared. That was my first year. And I didn't know how I was gonna make it through that. And after I got through my first year's classes, I'll never forget seeing my grades and being very, very disappointed. I didn't know, I couldn't figure out how to write a law exam. I couldn't figure out how to write. I remember my legal writing instructor telling me that I couldn't write. I said, no, you can't write. <laughs> I'm, I'm an English major. I was a writer by trade. I'm not the one that can't write. People don't understand lawyers. They understand me. <laughs> so I put myself in summer school. I mean, as soon as the, the classes were over, I went to summer school. I, I convinced teachers to give me writing classes so I could figure out how to write this law exam. I knew I was gonna figure this out, that nobody was gonna tell me that I could not do this. And this is in the face of people saying, you have three kids under 11, what are you doing? Your responsibility is to them right now, and here you are off now incurring more debt, spending more time away from them, all this angst and effort and stuff, and what, I mean, th this is not your time right now, it's their time, you're a mom, you're supposed to be paying attention to them right now. And I still drove two hours every day to get there and two hours every day to get back. I remember one particular person on the faculty telling me, you know what, maybe the law is just not for you. You're a mom, you got some political things going on, maybe you could just figure something else out. And I remember looking at him and saying, do not cry in this man's office. Do whatever you do, don't cry. So I sat up straight, steeled my back, I said, one day I'm gonna be a lawyer, whether you help me or not. So thank you for your time and I continued trying to learn how to write a law exam. And I thought I did well in the summer, but then right after I took the final exam, the school came and told me, you are dismissed. And I said, that must be a mistake. I went to summer school, I know I did well. If you just use my grades from summer school, then, I'll, then I won't be underneath the, you know, in law school, you can see minus your way out. So I had to fight. I fought to get in there. I got kicked out, I fought to get back in, and guess who I sat next to when I was sitting on the stage getting my JD? That person who said, maybe the law is just not for you. Let me tell you something. I kissed him first. I walked out, I gave him such a big hug, I was like, guess what? Not only is the law very, very good for me, but I get to do it in the state capitol and one day in a courtroom, so how about that? <laughs> and my children were there watching this. And the ABA gives you 84 months, and I took 83 of them, so it took me a long time to do this. I didn't get to do this, and I did it with three kids in public school and campaigns back to back and all the rest of the things that come into life for people who live big, full lives. So I want you to know today, you made it here. You made it here. You made it here when you were still taking care of kids. You made it here when you were trying to help take care of your parents at the same time. You made it here when you got up to go to school and your car didn't work that day. You made it here when you were trying to figure out how to pay for this, in, as well as pay your rent, your mortgage, school registration fees, and anything else you had to do for the other people you take care of in life. You made it here because you decided to make it here. And nobody, nobody, will invest in you if you don't invest in yourself. So I'm looking at you with your caps on and with the stoles on at this graduation and I know what it feels like to make it here today and have everybody that you love watch you and celebrate you and say congratulations for what it is you did. And you need to understand that this is different than those kids who you know, have parents that could just write a check and pay for school. This is different than those folks that get, you know, sent off to universities and they, you know, it's, a, it's just different. You did this in the midst of your regular, real, everyday lives. That's a little harder.
So the fact that you made it here means you didn't do less than anybody else. You did more than most other folks to be here today because you made it here. Now I'm gonna tell you, at the end of the day, whatever this means to you, whatever this graduation means to you today, I remember sitting there thinking on that stage that this was the first time that I really knew what the word commencement means. I thought about graduation, you know, like when you graduate, you finished it. Like, I did it, <laughs> I finished it. And I do need to say thank you for letting me wear something where I didn't have to suck in my stomach. This is really comfortable <laughs> to stand here for my first commencement speech. Especially since there's also a personal summer happening. <laughs> so, for all of you in here, I feel you, <laughs> I really do. But I thought about when I was sitting there looking just like you with my caps and gown on, and I knew my husband and my children were watching me, and my mother and my grandmother, and I had lost my grandfather by then. He didn't get to see me finish this. Well, actually, he did get to see me finish this, just not from the stands. So for those of you who also lost someone you cared about, know that they know, and they got you too. And I remember thinking about what does commencement mean? It's different than I graduated, I finished this, I completed all my classwork, and now someone's gonna give me a really shiny piece of paper that I can hang above my desk and prove to folks that I am educated. Commencement be means to begin. It means to begin. It means to start something new. It's the next stage. So I don't think there's anything more powerful in life that you could give to a kid than a parent who doesn't stop dreaming, who doesn't stop learning, who doesn't stop growing, who continues to invest in themselves and understand that learning is a lifelong process. There's nothing more powerful that you can show to a child than that. And right today, you can look and say, what, do I, what am I gonna do with this piece of paper now? What comes next? And the beauty of that question is that you get to decide what comes next. This story called your life is yours. You write it. You determine the next chapter. And the reason you get to determine the next chapter is because you made it here, today. This deserves more than a congratulations. I am so honored to be here to share this with you today because I remember exactly how it felt I wasn't a traditional student. I had to overcome things that people didn't really know was ha were happening behind closed doors. It was hard, and it was long, and it was expensive, and it was worth every single minute of it. Every single minute of it. So today, I say to you, Congratulations, class of 2015. You made it here. <laughs> Toy Hutchinson. <laughs> She's crying. Oh. <laughs> in recognition of support for the students in education, we present you today with an honorary degree. By the authority vested in me by the State of Illinois, the Community College Board, and the Prairie State College Board of Trustees, I hereby confer upon you the honorary degree of Associate in Arts. In our 56-year history, this is the 25th honorary degree awarded by Prairie State College. We are very proud to bestow it on you. <laughs>
I'm Bernetta Hill Corley, a member of the Board of Trustees. Phi Theta Kappa is the International Honor Society for Community Colleges. 16 years ago, the Illinois Community Colleges started an annual program to recognize, started an annual program to recognize as members of the Phi Theta Kappa All-State Academic Team, students from across Illinois. Today we are pleased to honor an alumni and one of our graduating students who was named to the 2015 Phi Theta Kappa All-Illinois Academic Team, Mr. Zachary Einart and Mrs. Sheila Parada. They exemplify the four hallmarks of Phi Theta Kappa Scholarship, leadership, service, and fellowship are being recognized for their academic success at Prairie State College and for their involvement on and off campus. As a member of the New Sigma chapter of Phi Theta Kappa, Mr. Einert served as a calculus workshop instructor and as a tutor in both chemistry and mathematics. He volunteered at the annual Prairie State College Foundation special event and at the annual Walk of Hope. Mr. Einert received the 2014 STEM Hall of Honor Award. He is graduating summa cum laude with an associate in science. <laughs> Ms. Parada served as the service committee chair for the New Sigma chapter of Phi Theta Kappa. She served as a mathematics, chemistry, and Spanish tutor. She assisted and coordinated the Phi Theta Kappa Veterans Appreciation Dinner and organized the Non-Perishable Food Drive Challenge. Ms. Parada is a recipient of the Illinois Community College Faculty Association Scholarship. She received her Associate in Science degree from Prairie State College in May 2014. Congratulations to Mr. Arnard and Ms. Parada, and thank you for your contribution. everyone. I'm Peg Donahue and I have the great honor of being a trustee at this wonderful Prairie State College. I'm a member of the Board of Trustees, by the way. <laughs> I am pleased to introduce the students who are receiving the President's Leadership Award for 2015. This annual award is given to one or more graduating students who have maintained high academic standing and who also have made significant leadership contributions to the college and demonstrated the values of responsible citizenship. It is my honor to present this year's leadership awards to Mr. Lafie Alger, Ms. Celeste Garcia, Dr. Duran, Mr. Duran Johnson, and Mr. Emmanuel Lopez. <laughs> Mr. LJ, Mr. LJ is a member of the New Sigma chapter of Phi Theta Kappa and a member of the Alpha Beta Gamma International Business Honor Society. He is also a member of the college's nationally ranked tennis team. Mr. LJ recently participated in a panel at the International Tea sponsored by the Student Government Association. He talked about his experience growing up in Morocco and how his life had changed since coming to Chicago Heights and Prairie State College. Mr. LJ is graduating magna cum laude with an associate in arts degree. <laughs> Ms. Garcia is vice president of the Student Government Association. 
a peer-led team, leader in chemistry, president of All Latin Alliance, student representative to the Prairie State College Foundation, and captain of the 2014 women's volleyball team. She also served as one of the two student representatives on college council. At the most recent STEM highway poster competition, Ms. Garcia's team placed third overall in the biology division. She is graduating cum laude with an associate in science degree. <laughs> Mr. Johnson served in the student board of, mem as a student board member of the Prairie State College Board of Trustees. At the, at the state level, he represented students by serving as a member of the Illinois Community College Board Financial Advisory Committee. He is a member of Alpha Beta Gamma, the Photo Society, the Student Veterans Club, Phi Theta Kappa, and is the former president of the Protege Club. Mr. Johnson served as a Spanish business and accounting tutor. He is graduating cum laude with an associate in arts degree. Mr. Lopez served as the 2014-2015 president of the Student Government Association. He was a member of the All Latin Alliance and served as its vice president. He was also a member of the Sustainability Club and served as its president. Mr. Lopez served as one of the two student representatives on college council. He instituted a shadowing program, which allowed those students who were interested in becoming student leaders firsthand what to expect in student leadership positions. At the most recent STEM Skyway Project poster competition, Mr. Lopez's team placed third overall in the biology division. Mr. Lopez was one of only 20 high school and college students to receive the Ford Blue Oval Scholars Dr. Juan Andre Scholarship for young Hispanic leaders. He is graduating cum laude with an associate in science degree. Congratulations, Mr. LJ, Ms. Garcia, Mr. Johnson, and Mr. Lopez, and thank you for your many contributions to the college, to your fellow students, and to the community. five honor societies. Phi Theta Kappa, as mentioned earlier, is the International Honor Society for Community College Students. Students are invited to be, to be members of Phi Theta Kappa upon achieving a, a 3.5 grade point average. The distinction is noted in their academic record and by the Phi Theta Kappa gold sash worn by these graduates. Sigma Phi Alpha is the National Honor Society for Dental Hygiene. The, these honor graduates are distinguished by white stoles with purple piping. Alpha Beta Gamma is a national honor society for students in business related disciplines. Graduates belonging to this honor society wear a purple sapphire, wear a sapphire blue stole with gold letters. Psi Beta Honor Society is a national honor society for psychology graduates and graduates and they wear a gold stole with a royal blue embroidery. And the members of Alpha Delta New Nursing Honor Society were an apricot orange cord. In addition, all honors program students have successfully completed nine or more hours of honors courses where a white honor cord. Well, all the graduates who are members of Phi Theta Kappa, Sigma Phi Alpha, Alpha Beta Gamma, Psi Beta, and Alpha Delta New Nursing Honor Society and honors program students, please rise and be recognized.
Thank you. You may be seated. It is my privilege to now present and recognize our two 2015 honor graduates. The honor of cum laude, which means with honors, is awarded to graduates who have achieved the GPA or grade point average of 3.3 to 3.64 on a 4.0 scale. The honor of magna cum laude with high honors is, an award grad, is, honors, is awarded to graduates who've achieved the GPA of 3.65 to 3.84. Finally, the highest honor is the summa cum laude with highest Highest honors is awarded to students who have achieved a GPA of 3.85 to a perfect 4.0. Well, will all cum laude, magna cum laude, and summa cum laude graduates please stand. Congratulations to you all and best wishes to the future graduates. Let's recognize these outstanding students. Thank you all. You may be seated. President Winfrey, on behalf of the faculty of Curry State College, I present to you the graduating class of 2015. I first present the candidates for the Associate in Arts, the Associate in Science, the Associate in Fine Arts, the Associate in General Studies degree. Will the candidates for the Associate in Arts, the Associates in Science, the Associate in Fine Arts, and the Associate in General Studies please rise. of the faculty of Prairie State College and by the authority vested in me by the state of Illinois and the Prairie State College Board of Trustees, I confer on you the Associate in Arts degree, the Associate in Science degree, the Associate in Fine Arts degree, or the Associate in General Studies degree with all the rights, responsibilities, and privileges associated therewith. Please come forward to receive your degrees.
Congratulations. Congratulations, Caitlin. 
Jacob Thomas Harrison. Leticia R. Gonzalez. Congratulations, Leticia. Tashea Lene Green. Big smile. Congratulations. Sabrina Lenise Hall.
Congratulations. Great job. Congratulations. Congratulations. 
just to say one thing. Congratulations. That's Cynthia, we're not going to give her one. No, we're not going to. That's Please join me now in applauding our 2015 Associate in Arts, Associate in Science, Associate in Finance, and Associates in General Studies students. President Winfrey, I now present candidates for the Associate in Applied Science degree and certificates. Will the candidates for the Associate in Applied Science degree and certificates please rise? <laughs> Upon nomination of the faculty of the Prairie State College and by the authority vested in me through the State of Illinois and by the Prairie State College Board of Trustees, I confer upon you Associate in Applied Science degrees or certificate with all the rights, responsibilities, and privileges associated therewith. Please come forward and receive your degree or certificate. Our dental hygiene students will also be receiving their pins.
Congratulations, Zachary. Great job. Congratulations. Look at all those cords you have. You should be very proud. <laughs> Christine Jacobson. R.N. 
Lakeisha Renee Johnson. Congratulations, Lakeisha. Ramonda Johnson. Congratulations. All done now. <laughs> Congratulations, Jason.
Congratulations, graduates. Nice to see you.
Congratulations, great job. <laughs>
<laughs> yeah, I need it. Now I gotta take this off. I keep getting attacked by the tassers. <laughs> Okay, for those that don't know, I am Deron Johnson. <laughs> oh, yeah. Please don't make me cry. Um, I'm former student trustee and now proud graduate of Prairie State College. I would like to congratulate you all on your achievements. I know how much time and effort all of you have put into completing your studies at Prairie State. The college is interested in what becomes of its graduates. As new alumni, we are major stakeholders in Prairie State College and will always be a part of the college's history and future. We are now joining thousands of graduates who began their educational journey here. Many of those are our families, friends, and professors who are here today. With those of you in, atten in, in attendance, who are graduates or current students of Prairie State College, please stand. That means you, you, you too? Come on. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> so, okay, you sit down. <laughs> so, even though we are no longer on campus, we need to stay in touch. Visit the college's website, Facebook page, or the Alumni Association's Facebook page. You can also find the college on Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest, YouTube, and LinkedIn. Before you leave, please look for the Alumni Association table outside the Health Tech building where you got dressed. And they'll be giving away the Prairie State Alumni Association t-shirts to all the new graduates. Thank you and best wishes. And this is the greatest class in the history of graduating classes ever! He's not excited, is he? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the 56th annual commencement of Prairie State College is complete. I invite all of you to join the graduates and faculty for refreshments after the recessional outside the Health Tech building. Our marshals will direct you. Please come and enjoy this time of celebration and thanksgiving. I now ask that the entire audience please stand and remain standing for the recessional, which is led again by our grand marshal. Please allow our faculty and students to exit first. Dr. Brooms, please proceed. <laughs> 